Hi guys, have you ever wondered how you could get some of these light flares and sun look-alike effect on your flyer design? Okay, so just watch. Okay, you see what just happened to this fly. Okay, so this is what I mean. And there is a whole lot to learn on this flyer design. Okay, guys, sorry I didn't do the introduction. I'm promise Sebastian and today we are learning a church flyer design with a tag pray. Okay, guys, there is a whole lot to learn on this one as usual. Okay, guys, without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to start by erasing all the whole design elements here. So I will use the interface tool here and change all the whole interface to a blank. So I go over to white and it's telling me that if I click this OK, everything will be lost. So I just click it now. I use plus button and from my gallery over here and it takes me to my gallery. So guys, here is the image I use for the design. So I'm going to tap on the image right away. So it's loading the image now and it's going to bring it up for me. So I'm going to crop with all this here over here. They are used to crop to whatever dimension. So I'm going to use the square dimension and then I move this thing up to whatever part I want to crop out. So I want to crop from the head. I'll click this good button below and I'm good. So I'll tap on the picture so I can see buttons over below it to adjust it so i'll draw the buttons now and then what i would want to do next is go over to shape interface and then go to the resize tool here which looks like um, an arrow facing left and right i click on it now this is 99 99 so you would want to make it 100 100 so it's 100 now you click the good button up here and then we would want to use relative position to adjust it perfectly well so you will make horizontal and we'll make vertical so we'll click the good button up and then we'll lock it so we don't mistakenly move it so i'll click the lock button up here now and then tap on the layer icon again so everything goes out i type on the, i tap on the picture now and um everything is perfect now so what i would want to do now is go to this um this also is an interface background interface tools where you get tools to work on the background so i will change the background here to black so in case i should uh in case i reduce the opacity of this now so it's going to absorb the black color from the background. So I'll change the color here now to black. And I'll click good button now. So then I'll reduce the opacity of this design. Reduce the opacity from shape interface. Now reduce the opacity to 80. Let me just leave it at 82 so I don't have to mistake and miss some other number. So at 89 is good now. So look at what you guys are going to be learning here in Pizza Lab. I'm sure you don't know about it. Once you click on this plus button now, you're going to see test, current date, and you're going to see sticker and other uh, stuff below the sticker. So once you click on the sticker, you notice that a blow effect occurs. This is a blow effect now. And you can use this thing now but you cannot use it if you press ok because you didn't select anything and it goes out again but what you would want to do to leave that blow effect there is once you click on the plus button and you click on the sticker it comes out now so this is the menu for the sticker that means they want you to cho choose the sticker so the uh, sticker you're gonna choose is gonna replace this blow effect here in this background so what you would want to do is don't touch any of the sticker go over to this layer tool now tap on any element you have below so i have this image now below this um blow effect now that was showing so i tap on the image now i see everything is gone out of the sticker so i have this now as an um image or a layer so you can work with this now you can even change the color so this is how to add the life layer. you can change the color to whatever color okay guys this is so so awesome it's so so awesome so so awesome so i'm gonna use this now and then this is the trick i'm gonna use to make this gradient look alike you saw on the flyer now so what we want to do now is adjust this now keep here we are just really big keep here and then we'll duplicate again place it somewhere here and then we'll duplicate again and then to the edge here so we'll copy this again we'll do that of the bottom place it somewhere here we'll copy this place it somewhere here we'll copy this again and then we'll lock this other one so we don't mistakenly move others because as it's now choked here in the background you might mistakenly move the one you don't want to move so this is the last one that we want to move now we want to keep it at the middle so it's aligned perfectly well so something like this now it's okay so you see the trick now you can get something amazing and due to our, our um, 
the background at the back is black so you can reduce the opacity of this to whatever opacity you feel like so you see we can adjust and play around with the opacity so let's keep it at the 80 watt before okay. this is it now so what we want to do now is get our text which is pray i'm sure you that you saw a text effect on that spray which we are going to learn just right now so I'm i will tap or double tap on this now once you want to tap on text instead of using um edit from alphabet interface you're using this edit tool or probably um wanting to use edit from here you use this text just double tap on the text and it brings up the type menu for the text so i'll, I'll just paste in the pray or let me just probably type the pray so click ok and i'm good and i have my pray now so what I want to do now is go change the font. So I'm on inter uh, alphabet interface already. So I'll go to the font menu here, font two here, and go to recent. I've used the font. Okay, go don't bother about the whole resource used on this design. I'm definitely gonna share them um, for you. Okay, so you have them just below. Check the description link from uh, with this video. You're gonna see the font there. So this is the font name. I think is Besti Bestinka, if I'm correct. So this is the font name for the pre. So we'll click OK now and this is it. We'll have our pre now. So we would want to adjust it a little bit. Something like this is OK. Then the effect that was other than the pre, um, listen carefully and be attentive. So you grab all I'm going to say now. So you switch to gradient first. Use one of these gradients. OK, this is the one I created. So um, to make it easier for you, I'm going to choose a gradient here already on Pizzolab. Okay, this gradient is here already on Pizzolab. Look at this gradient now. So you click on this one now. Look at it. The one be, uh, beside this purple looking gradient. You click on this one. Use plus button now. And you see the arrangement of this gradient. But this is not the arrangement we used. This arrangement is more like um, the, co the white color or the lighter color dispersing from the middle. Okay, but look at the arrangement here. This, um, this second one from uh, top and this... Um, fifth one from bottom like if you're coming from the bottom is the fifth one if you're coming from up is the second one so this is it this is the arrangement here we used this one now so the the uh, the lighter color which is the white has to be on top and the other um, gray color has to be below so with this arrangement now we are good now so what I want to do now is click OK and then you see I have it on the text now and you can with this now you can adjust the amount of um gray you can make it darker and you can adjust you it feels uh to you feel you're okay but i think something like this is good now okay so then what you want to do now is you click the okay button and go to add inner shadow you see this inner shadow here you on the inner shadow and once you on it on day four, it, it, it might probably give you black inner shadow so what we want to do now is reduce the blur radius to zero as you have a complete um, zero blow reduce, you don't have any blow reduce. Then you offset it X probably three and offset S3 3 and offset Y also 3. Okay, let's just make it 4 4. And then you change the color. This is the black now, it is you change the color to white. So you see now I have a white color now. So I'll click good button up now. So what I want to do now is add a stroke to this now. So I'll go back to the stroke tool on the stroke and then increase the stroke. Increase the stroke to probably eight or nine. So I'll use the gradient tool here. So our stroke color is on, uh, on black. So I'll use this stroke uh, tool here and change the color to the same color. Um, and the color we used there was gradient. So we'll switch to gradient now and use this the same gradient arrangement. You see, you will now have the effect of what I did there. You see, it's so, so, so simple. So I'll click this good button now. I'm okay with this now. So what I want to do now is add a drop shadow to it. So I'll use this shadow tool to add some shadow at the back now. So I'll on the shadow. I've actually taught you guys about shadows. That if you're on a uh, orange, uh, purple, blue background, use dark colors of that background to do your, um, to do that of your shadow so it get it looks much more um relatable than just black as the shadow so due to the uh, color of my background now is purple what i want to do now is change to a purple color but instead of making it a light 
call i'll just make it dark purple probably somewhere here now and i would want to reduce the opacity a little bit somewhere here and uh, this is good now the blur reduce is uh, 10 and then i will want to offset a little probably i'll offset s by 2 and offset y by 2 and i'm good now with this now so i think i didn't lock the last this is the last one we placed here this last blur effect i didn't lock it so i'll, I'll move this up now so what next now is for me to get the splash effect I used uh, to type the for the church, pray for the church. So that splash effect. So I'll use plus from my gallery. I'm getting it from my gallery now. So guys, this is the splash effect now. So I'll just tap on the plus splash effect. It's loading now. It's gonna bring it up for me on Puzzle Lab, and I have it over here now. So I'll just click OK below. So then I'm going to adjust this with this slider now, this uh, button by my right side, I'll adjust it now, adjust the size and then I'll resize it a little. So I'm going to place it somewhere beneath this and then I'm, I would want to change the color to the yellow color we used there. So I'll change to the yellow color now. So this is the yellow color now, so, but then I'll take it at the back of this spray now. And this is what I have now. So I'll get the text now. Text. This is the text too. Let me just delete this now. This plus and this is the text too. Now you just tap on it and it brings up the text for you. So you can draw and then double tap and type in whatever you want to type. This is your keyboard. You can type in anything. But I have the text on my clipboard. So I would want to paste them now. So this is for the church now. I just paste it. So I'll click OK. And then... I'm gonna change the font to Montserrat. It was a Montserrat font I used over there, so I'll go over to recent because I probably would have used the font. So I will change to semi bold. Semi bold is the best um, font way to use on placeholders. By placeholders, I mean buttons, uh, splash stuff like this. Semi bold is the best font way to use. So we'll change this to purple so you see this dark purple created now we've actually uh it, it has actually been useful for us in typing this text now so we have for our church here so i think this um i, I will lock this uh print now so in this placeholder we want to adjust it a little more and something like this is good now so your placeholder should have enough space from your text so this for the church we use i'm using relative alignment now or relative position in anyone to align everything so i'll use play also i'll click on the play and then relative alignment and it's aligned now so what i want to do next now is type the other text below so i'll copy this for church now I'll, i clicked on the layer here this is the layer two and then over to the for church and then i'm gonna copy it now so i have it here so i would want to drag it below here and double tap on it so I have the for seven days prayer text below here, so I will just paste it. So this this is it. You have your keyboard, you can type whatever you want, but just I have it on my clipboard. I don't know. This is a clipboard here which you can just copy stuff and paste. So this is it here. And then I would want to change the color to white because that was white I used over there on the fly. So white here. And this time around this one is gonna be bold. It's gonna be a bold font. So our font here is bold so we'll have this now so what we want to do next now is move all this up now so i will then use this this layer now and then this button below here this white button and you see i have boxes around here now because i just clicked that white button now below so i'll mark the stuff i want to move this the pray for the church and seven days so i'll click on this button below this delete look alike button beside sorry Inside this delete look alike button i've clicked on it now so with it now i can click on this one this is the position two in the shape interface which you have here now so this is the position two with the same method we'll move everything up a little i think with this now we are good now so what is left is for me to get the thumb pepper so i'll use plus from gallery to bring in my thumb pepper So guys, this is the Tom Pepper PNG. 
I brought it from my gallery so I'll click good button below now so I have it here now so I would want to rotate this and then draw to fit in so something like this is good now this is somewhere here is good so what I would want to do now is go over to inner shadow add an inner shadow to this so an inner shadow something faded but we'll use this purple now and then we'll fade it to somewhere here and then we'll click ok then we'll reduce the blur reduce to 5 this is five then we'll start offsetting we offset y so an offset of 15 or 16 should be good so we'll increase the opacity now to somewhere here Let's see what it looks like i think it's too big then we'll reduce the opacity a little okay somewhere here is better now so I'm good with this now. Look at the arrangement. Blow reduce 5. Offset minus 16. And a faded purple color. So we'll click this good button now. So we'll go over to stroke. On the stroke to and add a stroke to a stroke of 10. Stroke of 10 is good. So this stroke amount now is good now. So what we want to do now is bring this shape down a little. And then we'll lock this so we don't mistakenly move and lock a whole lot of stuff, almost everything. So we don't mistakenly move stuff. So we'll bring this down. The more. Okay, some way here is good now. So what is left is I'll copy these um seven days, seven nights of prayer. I'll copy it. And then I'm gonna double tap on it. So I'll put in my ministry. So I will type the ministry. In. Mini screen done okay and then I'll change the color to this same dark purple we used here and then I'd want to resize the text a little bit so let's just use um let's just use this 16 so I'll copy this again then I've copied it now so I'll use this edit now to type in all that text i can't see that's why i didn't double tap so i'll use my clipboard to type in the ministry because i copied it over here so pastor isaac pastor ben and uh, click um, okay and then bring it below here then i would want to change the font weight so i'll change the font weight to medium instead of bold the other one and then I'm gonna resize it. It's not gonna be the same size with this one also. So 14 is good. So we move this two up a little. With the same technique we use in moving multiple stuffs. So this is good now. So I'll copy the ministry again. Copy the ministry, use relative position, bring it down now. Use uh, relative position, bring it to the middle, and then I'll use position two now. This is the position two. This is the position two now. I'll use it to bring it up now. So what I want to type now is that of my date. So I'll use this edit now to type in what I want to type. So I'm typing my date now. So I think I have it in my clipboard, Saturday, 14th May, 2020. You can click done okay or you can just go back it brings up that okay so this time around we'll change the font i'll increase the size of this now so we'll use 18 here and we'll change the font change the font to extra bold extra bold and then we'll move it up a little a little a little a little so this is good now this is good. So I will copy this past Isaac and the Lord so that was written there. Copy it now. And then I, I want I want to type the location. So I will just delete all these and, and then I want to paste the location. I have the location here also. Photo road and below junction. So I click done and OK. And then somewhere like this. So then I would want to put in the time now so i'll use my plus button shapes 
this is a square shape on Delphot once you click the shape you're gonna see a square shape as Delphot so you click on this menu here it brings up where you could add shapes so we we'll use this plus button now we use this um this uh we click on this circle uh, this circle here so it gives us a circle and then we we'll resize we'll click good button up now and then we'll bring it below to the same position so that it's in the same alignment with this now so we align in position and i'm gonna bring it up now so i'll change the color to the same purple the same dark purple now that's where i change the color i think it's too big so we'd want to resize it a little now so let's just say seven is good now so i will adjust this to fit in fit perfectly into it so i'm just i'm adjusting and i think this is good now so i will copy this text now type in my time my time is 5 pm so i will type in the 5 pm 5 pm okay done okay so I'll use relative position now. This is the relative position. They wrote it the relative position beneath these two here. I click on it now. Use relative position. This one facing down. The last one now by right here. So I'll click it. It has brought it down below now. So I'll click this good button up. And then I'll move. I'm moving left now. So I'll move up. I'll move right. I'm moving right now. I'll move up now. So I'll click good button. I'll change the color to the same um, orange or yellow. This this is yellow, same yellow. Now then the font I use for this is Claudiana. I'll go back to recent. The Claudiana font is also there on the description link. So I'll click OK below, and that is the font. So you would want to adjust the font till it covers up the whole circle. So I'll increase the font. I increase the size. This here is 45. That's the size what I increased it to. So I'll move this up now and bring it down. So I'm adjusting to make it fit in well. Okay, this is good now. This is good now. So what is left is for um, for me to add my social media icon and uh, plan to attend. So I'll use plus button text. Then type in the plan to attend. Okay, that, that wasn't what I typed there. I, I wrote come prepared. Come prepared. With the same Claudiana font. Come prepared. We click OK. And then we change the color to the same color over there. The same color. And then the same Claudiana font. So use the same Claudiana font here. Click OK. Place it somewhere here. So, so guys what is left is my social media icons so first of all i will bring this guy now below so he's aligned with this other guy he's aligned with this other guy so then i'll use uh, i have a, a font which gives me social media icons by just typing text so i'm, I'm just gonna double tap on this and type in the text here I have A for Twitter, B for Facebook. So I would want, I would click done here. I will just go back and click OK now. So then I will go over to the font. I go to recent. I must have used the font. Look at the font here. Okay, so I will wipe this here. So I'm also, I've also shared the font there in the description link. So you're gonna get the font too. So we we'll change it to the same dark purple link um, color, and then we'll go over to look at what I'm gonna teach you guys. You see this this um, space in between the Twitter and Facebook is kind of much, and this is a typeface. So how would you wanna do it? Go over to this um, space in here in the alphabet interface because this is in form of an alphabet. So you would you can edit it on the alphabet interface. So I click on this spacing now and reduce the spacing. So I think a spacing of minus nine is good to go. So we'll click OK now. The good button up. So I use position two. This is the position. The rotate position also to bring these guys down and then start resizing them. I think 
26 now is good so I'll bring it down 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 and up a little so then I'll copy this photo road this photo road text I'm gonna copy it now I want to use it to type in my name so I'll double tap on it so I could use a dict also to type in what I want to type in. I can also double tap to type in what I want to type. So promise Sebastian. So I'll click done. Okay. And then I'll start resizing. To probably 8 or 9. So something like this now is good. So I'll move this guy up a little and down and up. I think I'll bring down a little now. Down and then left. Click good button. I think this is good. But the alignment between the left and the right on this uh, black side is not okay. So we are gonna do we are done with the design now. So once you are done with design, you do finishing touches. So we are gonna do finishing touches now. So from the finishing touches, first of all, what we want to do is move up this our prey a little bit. We'll mark this this button below here. Tap on it, it brings up boxes to, to, for us to mark the stuff we want to move. So I'll mark the prey, mark the church, mark the seven nights, and mark the splash also. And then I'm gonna move them just five pesos. Five pesos, and I'm good for this now. So then I'll go over to the uh, tone paper, tone paper, and then go over to the shape interface so I can see the functions on the two or the tools to edit it. So I'll go over to inner shadow. I think the offset Y we did offset it to minus 16, so I'll reduce it so that the shadow would go would go up. So let's just use minus 12. So minus 12 is good, so I'll click the good button. What we want to do next now is adjust this um the white shape divider side. We want to move the whole text to the left because it's not aligned. So we'll mark a whole lot of stuff. We'll mark, we'll click this layer, this button below now. Then we'll mark the ministry, and we'll mark the pastors, we'll mark the date, we'll mark the address, we'll mark the circle, we'll mark the uh, time. We mark up prepared, we mark AB, we mark promise Sebastian, and this is the whole write up on the white shape divider. So we use this plus button now beside this delete looking icon on these uh, four icons and this other second one. So I'll click on it now. This is the same position too in our shape interface, and uh, I think it's also an alphabet interface. So use it the same way. So we'll move left, and then we'll move right a little. I think now is okay and guys we did it okay guys this is it thanks for watching this awesome tutorial i hope you learned everything okay guys um don't forget to share this awesome video okay if you enjoyed watching it don't forget to hit the like and subscribe if you've not subscribed to this channel for more awesome and interesting content like this okay guys thanks for watching once more and see you next wednesday don't forget keep creating